In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to take text and make it float around the screen as if it were a piece of paper blowing in the wind. This is one of the components of a request I had from a user who looked at the opening credits to the old movie for a few dollars more. And they saw the text doing this, kind of crawling along the ground. And we're going to show you the technique on how to do that here in PowerDirector. What I found was I cannot do all the manipulation I want to when I use the text as a title. What I did was I created that same text as a graphic. And so we're going to go into our PIP designer treating this text here called Summer Fund Weekend Trip. And we're going to treat it now not as regular text, but simply as a, an object on the screen. So here's our object. We're going to go to the beginning of our project. And when I click on that, I'm going to make it smaller. And we might as well start right about here. So I will double click on the graphic, which looks like a title. And that gets me into my PIP designer. So I'm going to turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio. And then we're going to change the blue handles inside the white handles. That will allow me to make it look flat. So I'm going to take the mouse very carefully and flatten this down here on the side and flatten it down on the other side. And we can make it look almost like it's perfectly flat here. We can change the width of it. And so and actually in the rotation a little. And now we have all these keyframes being set to start with. Then we'll move into our project a little bit. And what I'm going to do then is take this and move it over here. We'll change it a little bit again. Uh, we can change how it looks and where it seems to be, quote, blowing to. And then we'll move over a little bit farther in our timeline. And let's go, uh, let's rotate this a little bit the other way. Move it over here. And you can play with this any way you want to change the size, the proportions, uh, the look and feel of it. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like, even though we've just done some simple experimenting with it. We'll click on it and we'll play it. And so although we only use three sets of keyframes here, you could use a lot more to give it a lot more action. And if you want it to fade in and out, all you need to do is modify the opacity settings on it. If I click on OK, and if I enlarge my track, I will see that I have a green opacity line that I can keyframe. So I can set different keyframes here, and I can lower the opacity to make it fade in and out anytime I want to. And you'll see it also will have some times when it fades to nothing or flickers. And so we can combine these to create whatever kind of effect we want in a flat kind of a flyaway, very flexible moving type, which is really a graphic that we've controlled by keyframes.